It is no secret that America loves its expensive fighter and bomber programs, but that becomes a real problem in a large-scale fight with a nation like China, for instance, because you're going to lose some aircraft. How do you deal with that when they can cost upwards of $100 million apiece to replace? Well, the Air Force has a plan, and that's flying way more platforms like the Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is a low-cost, low-observable, and low-maintenance drone that's designed to fly as a wingman for crewed fighters like the F-35 or the Air Force's forthcoming next-generation air dominance fighter. Now, that in and of itself isn't necessarily groundbreaking. We've been talking about flying drones alongside crewed fighters to extend sensor reach, relay targeting data, and even engage targets on behalf of the fighter for a while now. What is it about the Valkyrie that makes it so special? It's cheap. Now, a standard Kratos Valkyrie will run you between two and three million dollars, and a souped-up Valkyrie that's great for engaging ground targets might run you as much as ten million. And yeah, to a guy like me, that is a lot of money. But when we're talking about combat assets, two to three million dollars is about the same price as a Tomahawk cruise missile, which you obviously can't reuse. A Kratos Valkyrie, on the other hand, you very much can. Now, the Valkyrie carries two weapons internally, and depending on your sources, its maximum payload varies quite a bit, but it's probably right around 1,000 pounds. We know for sure that it can carry two 250-pound GBU-39 small diameter bombs. Now, what makes the Valkyrie so special is that it's attributable, which is a word I hate using, but the Air Force really seems to love. And what attributable really means is it's not that big a deal if you lose it. In other words, if there's a mission that could potentially cost you an aircraft, the Valkyrie's a great choice for that operation. You could also sacrifice the Valkyrie to save the crewed fighter from an inbound missile or fly it straight into a ground target if you really get desperate. You can take huge risks with these aircraft because there's no pilot on board and they cost about the same as a missile. The Kratos Valkyrie is the answer to the question of warfare through financial attrition. If the bad guys keep shooting down your aircraft and you can't afford to replace them, you're going to lose this fight. But if you can keep pumping out low-cost, low-observable, low-maintenance platforms like the Kratos Valkyrie, it will allow the United States to return to a World War II approach of overwhelming enemy air defenses through sheer volume alone. If you take that in combination with advanced stealth capabilities and advanced electronic warfare capabilities, you have a formula for an incredibly powerful means of airborne force projection. These aircraft are cheap little drones that are tough to spot, tough to shoot down, and easy to replace. And because of that, they could have a huge effect on the battlefield all throughout the 21st century.